when the heart is at ease, the body is healthy. And thanks to the rise in the general awareness, a lot of us have healthy bodies. But are we sure we have a healthy heart? And especially for all the women, when did you last get a heart checkup done? You do know that heart disease is the number one killer of women, causing one in three deaths each year. That's approximately one woman every minute. And so for the Aster Living Healthy segment, I spoke to Dr. Zubair, cardiologist from Aster Clinics and Hospitals, to know more about what can be done to prevent cardiovascular diseases in women. What are the most common cardiovascular diseases amongst women? Cardiovascular disease, I'll just start, that is a very, is a number one cause of the death in females. Mm -hmm. And the most common cause of the cardiovascular disease is the coronary artery disease, mm -hmm. which is a blockage and narrowing of the coronary arteries, supplying the blood to the heart. The second is microvascular disease, which is a small vessel disease of the heart muscles. And then third is broken heart disease, which is because of the extreme Emotional stress causes the partial damage of the heart muscle, which is reversible. So doctor, what are the most common symptoms? How do we know that we uh, have something like that? So usually the chest pain is one of the most common symptoms in both men and women, which is like a pressure, squeezing or burning in nature. It's coming in the center of the chest, radiating to the left arm. But many symptoms which are not common in the men, like for example, indigestions, shortness of breathing, nausea, vomiting, like feeling to vomit, is most common in the woman. Mm -hmm. Usually the women are not presenting with the chest pain, she is presenting with the other symptoms, which is not common in the heart attack. So it's basically, uh, we need to be very, very aware of what's going on yes. with our body. Yes. So mainly the other symptoms like breathlessness, indigestions, pain in the back, or jaw or neck, are more common in the females as compared to the chest pain as compared to the chest pain in men. In men. And why do women have it in spite of having uh, estrogen? So usually the estrogen is increasing the good cholesterol of the woman. Mm -hmm. But some patients who is diabetic mm -hmm. and who has a high cholesterol like triglycerides, this effect is lost. And definitely after the menopause, after the 50 years of age or 56, this effect will no, not be there. Mm -hmm. So that's why the woman who is older gets as equal as men the cardiovascular disease. Is it rare in younger women? It's usually rare in the younger women until unless there are any other major risk factors is present. Mm -hmm. Or but, emotional stress. Or emotional stress is there, yes. Mm -hmm. How do we handle this? How do we prevent it and how do we cure it? So most commonly the lifestyle modification is very important like lack of physical activity is the most common cause of this disease. So we suggest increase Be physical active. activity, 30 minutes a day walking daily, and then dietary habit to be changed, like maybe healthy diet with the more vegetables and fruits, and definitely control the other factors like blood pressure, sugar is there, or cholesterol level. How uh, does stress play a role in this? Because stress is increasing by the day and... Yeah, so... Usually we are suggesting that exercise is a very good therapy for all the stresses. Normally enjoying in the outside, reliever. yeah, going outside. This is a very important thing to relieve the stresses mm -hmm. from the normal lifestyle and the job stresses. So regular checkup, as you said, is yes. very important. Yes. Uh, most of the time we associate cholesterol with men, but we yes. definitely, yes. as women, Yes, do because of the, nowadays the dietary habits and lack of activity, the women are equally affected Perfect. with the high cholesterol levels. Thank you, doctor. I think that was very Thank informative. You. And as a woman, uh, for sure, this is something that I would like to keep talking about. And this is what I keep talking about in my show, is that all these lifestyle diseases are preventable. Yes. And we must take care of ourselves and make those healthy changes in our lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much.